This is where it all began. This story of Candyman. It's the movie that has audiences too scared to even say the title out loud. Candyman. If you're out here looking for Candyman, you ask me, stay away. A direct sequel to the horror film of the same name. Be my victim. In which a modern day black serial killer murdered by a white lynch mob in the 19th century is back to stalk Chicago's most notorious housing project, Cabrini Green. <laughs> Today, nearly 30 years later, at the helm of bringing the slasher back to the big screen, is 31-year-old director Nia DaCosta. DaCosta joins the ranks of black filmmakers at the forefront of challenging America's racism through black horror. I think storytelling, the way we create legends out of, out of horrifying events, is really how Candyman connects to our history. Say his name. As the urban legend goes, Candyman has summoned when you say his name five times in the mirror. Say his name. Candyman. No! Candyman! Like the original, the film takes place in the same Chicago neighborhood, only a decade after the last of the Cabrini Towers were torn down. New to the neighborhood. A ghoulish take on gentrification, a former housing project glossed and paved over with high-end coffee shops and condos but the ghost of the ghetto remains. Candyman is based on a short story set in Liverpool. Creature in the story was not black, so then you set it in Chicago and Cabrini Green. So the urban jungle gets transported into the film with an eye on blackness and black lives and a black monster chasing a white woman. And that adds to why it's scary for so many people. As fans of the original movie are taken back to where the haunting began, DaCosta's reimagining shifts who narrates the origins of Candyman. In our film, it's a story being told by a black man who's from the community that Candyman has been stalking. So it's a very different way into the story. Joining DaCosta in resurrecting this terror is horror movie powerhouse Jordan Peele, who co-wrote and produced the film. Couldn't see no brother around here. After the Oscar-winning success of Get Out, the genre of black horror films has had a comeback. Black horror is undergoing a renaissance. There's nothing to sort of open Hollywood's eyes more than commercial success. Candyman. Anthony. Candyman. The film star Yakya Abdul Mateen II Stop. and Tiana Paris. Stop it. Candyman. Stop it. Their characters, new to the neighborhood, find themselves caught in the lure of Candyman. What do you want audiences to take from your performances in this movie? I think what really drew me to the project uh, of Candyman is the relationship that we get to see between this young Black couple, this very ambitious, at very amazing places in their careers, respectively. And then, you know, we see a turn. Candyman isn't real. I saw him! Candyman isn't real, Anthony! I would like for this film to inspire audiences to dream, to say, what if Candyman was real? Filmmakers realize if we're going to have this Black monster, we better have a Black friend, too. For Tanana Reeve Du, the genre of Black horror has established her life's work for decades. This is just such a momentous time for Black horror. The ball has kept rolling. Du, an award-winning author of horror novels and lecturer in the Department of African American Studies at UCLA, she started a course called The Sunken Place, which uses Jordan Peele's Get Out as a linchpin to discuss black horror and its history as a film genre. Over the years, we had these horror films and creators that kind of broke through the surface. You know, like a young William Crane directing Blackula. And we had this renaissance in the 90s, which was incredible again, with everything from Tales from the Hood. I've been waiting for you boys. And even before that, Death by Temptation. The movie's original release was delayed a year due to the pandemic. But to director Nia DaCosta and the cast, 2020 Summer of Unrest gave renewed voice to this film. You used the phrase, say his name, and it comes at a time when our nation, people of all races, are using that phrase following the death of Breonna Taylor. It was really important to me that we had that language in the film, in part because one, it disconnects to the Candyman legend, you have to say his name five times, um, but also because it, the reason why we say that when we're marching, say his name, say her name, 
it's important to just keep remembering that these are people. Candyman in our film, you know, even in the, in the original Candyman, you know, the, it's, it's, it's the entire history of being a unwilling uh, martyr. We hopefully add some uh, some empathy and understanding to that character. I'm struck by your phrasing, unwilling martyr, and it instantly made me think about George Floyd. In this age that we live in, where it seems like this movie comes out a particular time in which horror films and the horrors of history intersect. When we tell our stories, our horror stories, people don't believe us. Did that really go down like that? You know, does, does this really happen to you? Yes, it does. Well, now, you know, with the horror genre, we say, okay, I, I've got a horror story to tell. Inside Professor Dew's classroom, the core of her teaching is developing the next generation of black horror filmmakers. Because you all are the filmmakers of tomorrow. It gives me hope that as a filmmaker that there's room for me, you know, they're opening doors and breaking down barriers every day and I'm very much grateful to them for that. I love horror and horror is so expansive. I want to see different types of black horror. I don't want horror to just sit in and traffic in um, black pain or racial, specifically like racial <laughs> violence towards black people. I think we have so much more to say in the horror space and in, you know, in the film space in general. A racy film that explores the horrors and history of racism. It may or may not make Make one think, but it will almost certainly make the plenty in the screens. Ah! Our thanks to Byron. Candyman is now out in theaters. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.